This week, we're going to be focusing on writing image promos specifically for a news organization. So what is an image promo? Basically, it's any kind of commercial or spot that highlights the values of a specific brand. So for an organization like KWWL, their brand values, things you'll see recurring uh, over and over again in their image promos, is certain keywords like trust, reliability, accuracy, uh, things like that. In every organization, it doesn't have to be a news organization, it can be any company, any company that knows who they are knows what their brand values are. And if you're making an image promo for that organization, it's up to you to highlight those brand values. This is mainly what I do at KWWL is image promos for the station. Things that highlight the station overall, not necessarily like pointing you to tune into a specific newscast. It's what I do to keep the lights on in my house so I can go off and make those short films that, you know, win these awards that are over here, over here on my shoulder here. All right, so that brings us to the next guest speaker for this course. This is the Creative Services Director for KWWL, Mike Cunningham. Hi, I'm Mike Cunningham, Marketing Director at KWWL-TV here in Waterloo, here to talk to you a little bit about weather promotion. I've worked at a number of different television stations around the country and been involved in a number of audience research projects. When viewers are asked, what's the number one reason for watching a local newscast, the number one answer is invariably weather. If you think about it, it makes perfect sense because weather is the one thing that affects everyone every day. So if weather is the number one reason viewers watch local news, it stands to reason that marketing weather is our number one priority. So how do we do that? We start with trust. We want our viewers to know they can trust our meteorologists, trust them to be professional, to be highly trained, to be certified, Trust them to be reliable, to always be there, to always be tracking the threat of severe weather. And trust them to be accurate, because without accuracy, there is no credibility or trust. Here at KWWL, we are fortunate that our weather team has actually been proven to be the most accurate by an independent weather research company called WeatherRate. So since we have the WeatherRate seal of approval, we promote that relentlessly, on air, online, on social media, and on mobile. We also promote that all our meteorologists are certified by the AMS, the American Meteorological Society. Another way we promote our accuracy is by proof of performance, or POP. When our weather team accurately predicts severe weather, we put together a promo that shows that. We will use actual video from the forecast where they are predicting when and where severe weather will strike and show video of the storm to prove our accuracy. These proof of performance spots can be very effective in demonstrating reliability, accuracy, and trust. I should also add that promoting advanced state-of-the-art weather tracking technology is also very important in establishing credibility with viewers. We often promote our radar, storm tracking vehicles, and more in our weather promos. So in summary, you need to constantly promote your weather team's proven accuracy and their advanced storm tracking technology to convince viewers your station is the one to trust and turn to during severe weather. Hope this helps. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mike. That brings us to our writing tip for the week. It is part of writing an image promo. It's something I touched on at the beginning of this video. It's in the PDF, so obviously it must be important. And that's remember the brand's keywords. What are those words that they want to be associated with? What are their brand values? And make sure that the audience knows it. All right, that's all I have for you guys this week. I look forward to reading your weather image promos because that's what you're focusing on, writing a spot for weather because as Mike said, that's the number one reason people tune into the news. Uh, so yeah, send those to me and I'll see you next week.